whatever reason, she has the misconception that whatever man she comes in contact with wants what she has to offer. So she throws herself at them with the expectation of being taken to the altar. And she says she wants kids, but don't want to have them at a wedding lock, but she can't find a man stupid enough to stay with her. She's not ready for no relationship until she gets to know her. Cause see, all she know is use what you got, cause that's what her mama taught her. She know how to drop it like it's hot and how to back that thing up. She know how to accessorize with makeup and proper cleavage up. All because some brother told her she was America's next top model. Never mind what's on the inside, cause she can cover that up with a smile. She know how to mesmerize the men with her big butt and thick thighs. But once they realize there ain't no real substance to her, and they would never take her home to meet their mama, they was out there going faster than she could tell them she loved them. But she don't see no reason for change, cause see, that's what works for her. But she don't understand that she need more to offer a brother. If she would just take the time to stimulate her mind and allow God to take away that pain she's trying to have, or maybe spend more time investing in a relationship with Christ, she wouldn't have to offer her body to every man as a sacrifice. Yeah. She's rolling the dice on her life, using her soul as collateral in debt, using her legs as an open vessel. Yeah. Her temple sings songs of sadness from self-inflicted wounds of brokenness. She feels hopeless while her soul cries out for God's holiness, all because she's looking for the wrong person to be one with. But in the midst of her soul searching, she looked for love in all the wrong places, setting herself up for failure because of her low expectations. If you don't love yourself enough to cherish the body that God gave you, then how in the world can you expect other people to treat you like more than priests around She's been holding on to a man even though he's somebody else's husband. Holding on to that drink at least until she feels tipsy. She's been holding on to a friend who ain't concerned with her happiness. She's been holding on to a stronghold, but she can't let go. She's been holding on to dreams, but don't know which way to go. Holding on to a man who don't even love her no more. She's been holding on to the has-beens that let her go a long time ago. She holding on to a stronghold, but she can't let go. We've been holding on to traditions, making the word of God of none effect. Holding on to superstitions, making wishes when our faith should be increasing. All right. Holding on to ungodly people whose fruit ain't more picking. We've been holding on to strongholds, but we can't let go. Holding on to ungodly counsel whose steps ain't ordered by the Lord, forsaking his commandments and disregarding his orders. Putting his name to disgrace, we've been forsaking God's grace. Instead of dwelling in his secret place, we've been holding on to God's hand instead of seeking his face. We've been holding on to strongholds because we can't let go. Holding on to what they think instead of what we know. Holding on to poverty mentality because we ain't prospering in our souls. Holding on to lack mentality because we don't think he got enough. We've been holding on to strongholds because we can't let go. But what if God went back on his word and didn't love us no more? What if God took prayer and faith out of this world? What if God let go of our souls because he couldn't take it no more? And his grace and his patience wasn't given in overflow. What if God's mercy didn't endure no more? And the sun, the moon, and the stars didn't shine no more? What if God broke his covenant with us because we took for granted all that he'd done for us? Then how strong would a stronghold be if God just let go. How bad would our problems be if God didn't have no shoulders? Where would we cast our prayers if God said, don't cast no more? Where would we run for shelter if his arms couldn't cover us? It's time to let go of strongholds that ain't even holding us. We got to put our trust in God and quit blaming others because God has the power to break the chains of bondage, but he can't break the chains if we enable them to bind us. So let go of your stronghold 
and God will set you free. Let go of your stronghold, because he died for you and me. Thank you.